on you. Yeah. One of the things you've got to learn to do is to encourage the work of the Spirit of God in your life. If you don't encourage it, you will not experience it. Encourage the work of the Spirit of God in your life. I found out that what uh, uh, many, many Christians need the most is a simple word, direction. Oh, how many don't know what decisions to make. How many find themselves in a quagmire, unsure of what steps to take. And even when they pray, they're not sure when God is talking to them. Many times they're afraid of making mistakes. So they're, they're, they're concerned. And so they're praying. Incidentally, the more they pray like that, the deeper they get into unbelief. If you want to know the voice of God more clearly, it's very simple. Study his word. Study his word. Don't use your own mind, you see, to create human wisdom. Study his word. Have your focus on his word. The Bible says that the scriptures were given to make you wise unto salvation. That means you be made wise in the totality of the workings of God. That's what he called salvation. See, which means your wisdom will not be the wisdom of this world, but the wisdom that is from God that saves men's lives. Hallelujah. And that brings God glory. Wise unto salvation. So it refers to the end of salvation. So the scriptures will make you wise. The more you study the word, the wiser you become. The smarter you become. And men cannot resist your wisdom. Because you speak from beyond this world. They can't understand you. But the thing is, every time you speak, oh, they can't forget what you said. You become a problem solver. A solution bringer. That's it with you. That's your life. Say, I'm a problem solver. I'm a solution bringer. I'm an answer. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I like that. Think about it. You are an answer. You're an answer. Think about it. You know, you're, you're coming. You're walking into a place. The answer is coming because you are coming. Say, I'm an answer. From God. from God. Everywhere I go, Everywhere I go. I'm, an I'm an answer from God. Always they need me. Always because they need I'm an answer from God. I want you to think about this. You, you, you've got to catch this. Think about it. Think about it. Meditate on it for a second. Think about it. We're talking about you. We're not dealing with Peter, James, and John now. We're talking about you. This is your day. We're talking about you. Think about it. I'm an answer. You know, years ago, several years ago, 1985 to be precise, I wrote in my diary, I'm an answer to the cry of millions. You see, I wrote that a long time ago. Where were you in 1985? What were you doing? I realized that you know, years ago, at that time that I was an answer, that was my consciousness. That was my synesis, my understanding of the Word of God. Now I would write it down and say it again and again to myself. I'm an answer. I was born as an answer to the cry of millions. Yeah. You've got to let it get into your spirit. Let it get into your spirit. Jesus did not come for nothing. Did you hear that? He didn't come for nothing. Let... Can I read something to you from the book of Galatians? Let's go there. Galatians chapter 2. 
You will like this one.